Hello everyone, uh, I'm Frank Gallo and it's been a really, really long time since I last made a video. I think it's been over a year since the last true YouTube video came out on my channel. And it's been because I've been swamped with school, swamped with sports, swamped with college. But now that I got into college and the opportunity has shown itself, I'm going to make a little bit of a Christmas special video. Here's how it goes. This project takes the form of a challenge that me and my sister have to complete. And this challenge, of course, as all challenges do, has rules. The first rule is that we cannot spend more than $60 helping people out around the city, and we cannot spend less than $48 helping people out. Two, we can't help people in any other city other than our hometown. And three, the most jarring of them all, is we have to be home by 12 o'clock in the how are you feeling about this challenge assigned to us this morning? We have to spread joy around town. I'm so excited. I, I like, I like see these videos all the time, so I'm like, stupid. We're gonna be like a mini And Mr. I like Beast. that like we only have, like we don't really have that much time because it's 9.30 already and we still have to drive and get out of the driveway. And it's also like Christmas Eve, so we just like in this picture. Okay. My sister's trying to get a good angle on her face. We have our first decision of the day to make, and that is where to go to breakfast. We have decided that we are going to the Daily Bagel because it is local, and, and we like get to, you know, everyone likes it. And um, also our family owns it, so we can bring them some cheer because they see our beautiful faces. And the owner last week asked to see us come there pretty soon. That, so yeah. we might as well just go. Why not? We're doing like random acts of kindness. Let's do one for free. Yeah. So we just came out of the daily bagel. Okay, we got we got two bagels for eight dollars, but since our family owns it, we got it for free as a Christmas present. And she was so kind about it. So then we decided why not do two and one and we paid for the people behind us, which they ended up doing kind because they gave a twenty dollar tip. So So yes, it's it's a good day here in Lemonster. Oh, like a happy Okay, we have no idea where to go next. So we're trying to make that determination right now. Um, where do you think we should go? Should we take the highway back? Should we take Route 12 back? Um, where should we head down? I say highway, we need to get back to Fitchburg. Okay. I don't know. We'll get off at 31 and then see what we do there. Let's check that. Okay, it is 10.12, but no, it's actually 10.13, and we still have 50 bucks left to spend, and we don't know how we're going to spend it. We have absolutely no idea. We're just kind of wandering the earth, searching for a way to do random acts of kindness right now. Hopefully, we'll stumble upon it relatively soon. Okay, we are downtown at the Bonfire Bookshop, who we will shortly patronize. And I'm very excited because I haven't been here yet. Okay, let's see if it's even open. I think they're open. It is Christmas Eve, a lot of places are not open. Turns out the Bonfire Bookshop is absolutely amazing. Oh my god! And now I feel like we're all in on the secret and we got stuff. We spent forty dollars. And it thirty dollars, but that's okay. Okay. So the Bonfire Bookshop is secretly absolutely incredible. It's gonna be even more incredible. I'm so glad we went. The guy in there was awesome. It's, it, this is gonna sound like an advertisement. We were not paid for this. We were just absolutely in shock here. Here's a couple of videos about what we saw.
Okay, we are on our way to Market Basket to complete our last few random acts of kindness. We bagged some chocolate and some books, so we're gonna give them away. Honestly, this experience has enlightened me to all the cool stuff in my city. I think it's absolutely awesome. I highly suggest that you come here to Fitchburg, Massachusetts if you ever get the chance, because we're very up and coming. The Fitchburg of the future is not the Fitchburg of the past. <laughs>Okay, so we are at the market basket. How much money do we have left? I'm pretty sure we have $20 left. So we have $20 left. We In have to... not a lot of time. We've got like an hour. So we have $20 and an hour left. And we need to be home by 1230. So we have to figure out what we're going to do in market basket with the rest of our time. We know for a fact that we're giving away this chocolate that we just bought. And we were going to buy someone else's groceries at the 12 items or less line, but the bonfire bookshop just came so close to our hearts that we had to had to do a little bit oh, more there. So, sweet. so let's head into Market Basket. Market Basket is absolutely packed right now. There's like 150 people here in like one square mile. I've already gotten a compliment on my hat. Look for Ezekiel bread just because it's kind of interesting. And apparently the story behind it was that the Lord said to the, uh, to the people of Judea that they didn't need to cook their food in their own poop or with their own poop. There it is, Ezekiel bread. We, we want Ezekiel bread because apparently it's really, really healthy. Uh, take unto thee wheat and barley and beans and lentils and millet and spelt. Put them into one vessel and make bread of it. Spelt is just a the Ezekiel bread becomes far more interesting when you read the whole passage referenced upon the bread. Take thou also unto thee wheat and barley and beans and lentils and millet and fitches and put them in one vessel and make thee bread thereof according to the number of the days that thou shalt lie upon thy side 390 days shalt thou eat thereof that's what it says on the container two sentences later it says and thou shalt eat it as barley cakes and thou shalt bake it with the dung that cometh out of man in their sight and the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whither I will drive them. And then two sentences later it says, Then he said unto me, Lo, I have given thee cow's dung for man's dung, and thou shalt prepare thy bread therewith. So Ezekiel bread canonically needs to be baked with poop. I'm, I'm, I'm being accurate here. It needs to be baked with poop. To figure out who to give the chocolate to. I was thinking it's, it's nice chocolate. We, we're gonna like find someone who like you do like chocolate and then give them chocolate. That's okay. Let's go. We're gonna give the chocolate to those people. So the plan is I'm gonna sneak these two books to my dad. Just drop it off on his doorstep and then get out of there. Leave it on the doorstep and get the hell out of here as was said in the greatest Christmas movie of all time, Home Alone. So I'm heading to do that now. I will film my journey, and I will tell you guys if it is successful or not. Mission success, although I did forget to account for the fact that it is really, really cold out. Now the only thing left to do is to spend the remaining $20 that we still have in our giving account on something. I don't even know what. Do you have any idea what are we gonna do next? Well, I think we should go to Delicious Dips, which is like a bakery, and then we go get, and then we drop it off to like our family, like Yaya and Mimi and Pop. Okay, good plan. And it's also, it is also expensive, so we can, we can get the money away quicker. Good. Yeah. We're at the last stop, Delicious Dips. We're gonna buy some good sweets for our family and deliver it to them post haste. They're not gonna know about it until we post this video though. Maybe, I don't know. They might know about it. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, that's my sister dropping off our gifts to our grandmother here. What's say home? It seems our Yaya isn't awake. So just gonna drop it on the doorstep. Yeah, right there. Oh no, I don't want the, it to get soggy on the wet. No, 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 no. See the dry spot? Put it in the dry spot. We'll be here and we'll text our grandma. We'll go. Let's go. Hi, Pop. Yeah. Hey, how's it going, Greg? I'm doing Sorry. awesome. I got a pie for you. Thank you. I will I will get a pie. No, no, here's a pie in <laughs> Okay, he's alluding to a video that happened yesterday. So this is the end of our journey here. This is our uh, our Mimi here. And we've brought her the delicious dip sweets. And we're going to tell you about our little journey.